Hello there from, well, Belfield. Behind me there is what I like to call the Lonely Net. Uh, it's a little outdoor net we have here just beside where I'm going shortly, which is into the main arena here in Belfield for UCD Marion versus Colester. It's opening day in Ireland. Uh, so I'm very, very excited because it's been all of 13 days since I actually went to a basketball game in person. So it's not actually been that big a break because, wow, we are that close to when the Euro Basket Championship game was on. It feels longer, I'll be honest, it feels a lot longer, but you know, let's see what happens and I'm uh, going to talk to the coaches and the players afterwards, get a little bit of clips and you know, yeah, it's all for you, but opening day, very excited and for all of you around Europe who are also experiencing opening day as I'm doing this, have a great one. Halftime, and wow, you can tell this is a young looking UCD team. Like, uh, five of the squad are under 20s from last year. Like, they went 29 and 0, unbeaten under 20, but. You can see that veteran difference for Colester, but the big difference we've already seen in sort of in the first half was when Paul Dick went out, just over seven minutes left in the half, and defensively for UCD just became much easier after that, because Dick was just, you know, making it a lot harder for UCD to really just, you know, close down the avenues, close down the lanes. And yeah, if he comes back in, I'd rather expect Colester to take charge again, but uh, got to see, because he's, he's sat the whole time, he's still fully dressed, but uh, it's, a, it's a big, big question. Let's find out. <laughs> of a point one left on the clock so no matter what happens with these dick free throws there literally won't be enough time for UCD to get the ball back he makes the first that's an 84 82 so dick will formally end it and we're done that would not have counted uh, Paul obviously nervy one at the end but you got there how do you feel about the performance yeah, look, it was tight. We uh, missed a few bodies and uh, they did really well. Their American kind of blew up on us. And uh, yeah, they did good. We persevered for the win, so we're happy, you know. And obviously, you got hurt in the second quarter. Are you feeling okay now? Yeah, just, I don't know, a little bit of a hyperextension, but it seems, uh, seems all right. And obviously, it's early in the season, like, but want to know, it's what you want to start with. So how are you feeling going into next week? Yeah, we're undefeated. Uh, <laughs> the feeling's good. 
and like you know, it's like with Colester because obviously you've had a few clubs. Like, what's it like to be part of this this group? Yeah, I played with them before, and uh, it's my family club. You know, my mother played, uh, cousin coaches, cousin players. So it's lovely. It's, you know, I get on well with everybody. It's uh, it's exciting. I think we have a really good team. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, we uh, we made very hard work with UCD. Caused us loads of loads of difficulties. Uh, John Jean is, you know, he's a handful, and he, he, he created a lot for them. Um, we looked a bit sluggish, we, we, we played kind of well in the first quarter, in the second half of the first quarter, but then kind of let it slip. Uh, and then, you know, we were in a ding-dong battle back and forth, and thankfully we made enough shots to kind of just get over the line, but, I mean, there's plenty of work for us to do. Um, loads of work for us to do. Um, I was going to say, this is a coach's ideal situation, you get the win, but you've got, still got things you can complain about during the week. Yeah, it's been a while since we've won the first game of the season, so um, that's that's a positive, but, yeah, like it's like everything. Um, you come in the first game, it always comes too quickly. <laughs> it's, it's the nature of it, you know, no matter how long the preseason is. So, look, we're delighted to get out of here with the win. It looked a bit uh, ropey there at the start of the fourth. Uh, momentum was against us, but we um, rallied back and kind of made enough shots uh, to get over the line. But definitely uh, much, much to improve on. And obviously, like you were saying, like, you know, like, they had a good preseason, but like there's a huge gap between the end of the previous and the start of this. Like, Ireland's going the longest gaps going. Is it hard to get the lads up the league pace? Oh, de like definitely, it's a uh, it's a massive challenge because no matter what, uh, there's nothing nothing beats playing games. You yeah. Know? And we can train for two two and a half months or whatever it is. Uh, the real life white hot intensity of Super League basketball is, is hard to replicate. And uh, you know, you come into the preseason and you're trying to get enough stuff in to have a meaningful game, and then you kind of get a few of them in a row. Um, but yeah, absolutely, it's, it's definitely a challenge uh, to kind of. Leave it off in March and then come back in in um, in, in, in October. Uh, it's it's a very mixed uh, emotions. Uh, like uh, definitely, I'm very I'm very happy and uh, very uh, proud for the kids because like we have to deal with kids. Okay, um, we have a completely new team. Okay, everybody's like uh, under twenties. Uh, so. We fight, we fight till the last second, uh, but disappointed, very disappointed for uh, for the result. And unfortunately, like we we lost the game because like we didn't have the experience to win the game the last like ten seconds. Uh, that's the thing. It's a very different roster to the last time you were UCD coach. Like, what's it like for you working with this very new look, very young side? Uh, it's completely different. It's completely different because like the first time I came to uh, to UCD, Marian. Uh, I had uh, players with, with everybody was like 25 years old. Yeah. Now I have like players who everybody's under 20. So it's it's very interesting and it's very exciting because like you can work, okay? You can you can add things and you can develop, and there is a uh, huge uh, potential. Uh, the only thing like we need to have patience. Yeah. Unfortunately, and you know sometimes we get frustrated, but uh, no, no, it's a long process. It's a process. And like, how are you feeling about sort of that gelling? Because obviously Jonathan's out there in a clear leadership role for you guys at the point. Like, do you feel that's like helping bring the younger guys through? Yes. Uh, he, like we have John like the last four days. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but he make a huge impact to the team. He changed the team completely. Um, because if you if you understand that we play like four or five friendly games and we lost pretty much all of them. Yeah. And we lost from Division One teams. And now we came over here and we almost won the first game against the Leicester, yeah. very strong to Leicester. So like, you understand how much it changed the dynamics in the team. Uh, but it, it's going to take time. It's going to yeah. take like at least like a month like to, to be able to to be in the in the level we want. So yeah, I'm in the pub now, but a uh, good game, very air opening day, as in you can see there's a bit of rust in all of that, but uh, great to see it, good performance obviously from uh, Colester to get the win, but encouraging to see UCD's really young side, look what they're coming together. And anyway, you know, our next video is going to be from a slightly bigger arena, but we've got to let you know what that is a bit later on, but great to see a great crowd in UCD tonight, and as always, please subscribe, because we need to get to hit that thousand people. Uh, like, share, tell your friends, you know, love people, all that. Until next time, Emmett Ryan for Ball in Europe. See you all soon.